A quick disclaimer before I start the video. First of all, the things I'm going to be talking about are by no means descriptive of all women. Second of all, I don't have anything against people that live like this. I might not agree with it, but people can do whatever they want at the end of the day. The actual point of the video is to warn guys to not model their lives after women, because that leads to things you don't want, let's say. Uh, have to be PG in the first minute of the video after all. So what do I mean by not model your life after women? I mean this in two separate ways. For the first thing I want to explain I'll give you a hypothetical scenario. We have a guy and a girl. They get together, they are in a relationship. How do the habits of these two people change when they enter that relationship? We hear about this all the time. The thing that happens is people get comfortable. They think to themselves, okay, I've put in some work, now I've got what I wanted, time to do nothing all day and be a slob. They probably don't literally think like this, but it's what happens. The problem here is that this lifestyle damages men way more than it does women, and I'll immediately explain why. A young pretty woman can do pretty much nothing besides sitting on her couch at home and watching Netflix for most of the day, and there would still be guys thirsting over her. She's young and pretty after all. If she's not all that attractive, there would still be a ton of guys who are interested. It's just how the dynamic between the two genders is these days. Now compare this to when a guy has the same lifestyle. I can tell you from first-hand knowledge that if a man isn't taking care of himself, if he's not putting in the work, he will struggle to get women to even acknowledge his existence. This lifestyle might be hurting women a little bit, but it destroys men. A man who is doing nothing but sitting on his ass and playing video games and jacking off will be in 99% of cases disgusting to women. Maybe if you naturally look like a chad, women would still be okay with sleeping with you, even if you live like this. But that's where it ends. After that point you can't give anything to that woman. She wants a man who's got his shit together, who can take care of her. You just aren't that, and no self-respecting woman would be interested in a long-term relationship with you. Back to the original point. Boy and girl in a relationship, they watch Netflix together, order pizza and other garbage foods. Both of them start gaining weight. The dude doesn't hit the gym as often as he used to because why would he? Why would you go to the gym early on a Saturday morning when you have a hot young girl next to you keeping you warm? You need to have an iron wheel to do something like this. And most guys obviously don't. These two things compound into living a sort of slob lifestyle, which as I've said, destroys men. Do you know what the range of body fat percentages considered most desirable by women is? It's between 12 and 8, with around 10% body fat being the sweet spot. What does this range look like for women? It's around 18 to 25, literally double of what the ideal is for a man. And you can take into consideration the fact that a ton of men like thick women, which means you can extend this up to 30% even. This is because of the way men and women typically store body fat. The first four areas to gain adipose tissue in women are the ass, breasts, thighs and hips in some order. Literally all the right places. Do you know what these areas are for men? Belly, love handles, face and neck. Literally the worst possible places to have fat in. So the thing that happens in this hypothetical relationship is you and the girl both get comfy. But she ends up getting even more attractive while you start looking like shit. And because of this she ends up leaving you. She got into a relationship with you when you were in shape, you were on your grind or whatever, and now you're all fat and disgusting. That's not what was promised at the start of the relationship. On top of that, she's now getting more attention from higher level guys. My point is that you can't live like your girlfriend, because this sort of lifestyle will destroy you, but it will barely hurt her, might even make her more attractive. You have to always stay disciplined, you can't get complacent and comfy, because that's how you dig yourself a big hole you have to later get out of. 
The next thing is you cannot compete with women while you're young. What I mean by this is you should not be chasing the most beautiful girls your age. Little side note, you probably shouldn't be chasing any women for that matter. This is because you just aren't on the same level. These girls want a guy who has a car, his own place, shit like that. So what do guys do? They get a car on finance and start renting a big apartment when they shouldn't be necessarily doing so, just to impress some chick. You have to understand that women your age are not for you, you can't be with them. When you're a 20 something year old guy you can't compete with the 30 year old who has a 5 year advantage when it comes to building his frame. Your hot 20 year old crush will not take you seriously. You cannot compete with her now because you over leverage the fuck out of yourself for a car on finance and rent. All for what? Just so you two can get together. And when you do she will find out you're actually broke and leave you anyway. But you just put yourself in a ton of debt just to impress and quote unquote get her. You have to understand that men peak later in life. You are not born with intrinsic value. When you're 18, 19, 20, you're a bum, objectively speaking. Nobody likes you because men are judged on the things they've achieved and you still haven't achieved anything. In conclusion, you probably shouldn't be entering relationships. To get into a relationship with the woman you actually like, you'd have to over leverage yourself too much and even if you manage to get her after that, the upcoming lifestyle change will destroy you. She'll realize you're broke and she'll leave you anyway. When you're young, you should just ignore women, never get complacent, you have more important things to worry about. That's it for the video, if you want to see more content from me, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.